Hi, um, so today I'm going to do my um, tag video with um, some of the lovely ladies on YouTube and I'll link all their channels down below. Um, I think I probably, I'm probably like the last one to upload this video and this is supposed to be our um, own personal favorite like top 5 natural slash uh, cruelty free beauty uh, brands, beauty items, beauty brands. Um, so yeah, um, I was working like non-stop last week and finally caught some break and I went to the Coney Island Mermaid Parade on Saturday and I forgot to use sunscreen on certain areas like I use sunscreen on my face and I use sunscreen on my tattoos but I didn't put sunscreen anywhere else I don't know what I was thinking and um, it wasn't that hot on Saturday but for some reason I guess we were literally on the boardwalk like right underneath the sun and it was a between like I think 1 o'clock to 4 o'clock so like I think that's when the sun's like the worst so I got like the worst sunburn ever in my life as you can see <laughs> it's like I was wearing this um shirt that has like a little bit wider neckline so that's why I got like tan all around I mean burn not tan and then also it was like one of those almost like a sleeveless shirt so over here you see I put sunscreen on my tattoo so that's why my tattoo is fine but all around it's like burned so I'm trying to narrow down um, five like my top five makeup like natural slash cruelty free beauty companies beauty brands um, I don't see a unfortunately I don't see that many like natural like makeup stuff that you know in my collection um, but my top two favorite ones, well, my top one, I think my number one top favorite, um, and that's both natural and cruelty free, is probably um, Pumpkin Poppy Cosmetics. So um, I'll link her shop. I'll link all the um, beauty companies, the beauty brands I mentioned, uh, all their website and information down below and you can check out the, their products and there's the oil absorbing mineral veil. I think this is probably my favorite product from Pumpkin and Poppy Cosmetics. Um, it's basically, it's kind of like a rice powder, it's like super finely milled. It's so finely milled that it's comparable to the Makeup Forever HD powder or the um, the e.l.f. Stu uh, HD Studio, you know, setting powder or the uh, um, Tarte Amazonian Clay setting powder. So it's super finely milled and um, all the ingredients are on the back um, and it's literally just like these ingredients if you can see. It doesn't leave like a white cast on your face like those normal like HD powder because you know like um, a lot of prod a lot of like pictures from like celebrities on the red carpet start popping out with flash and you can see that horrible like white powder settling onto their face um, because I guess the makeup artists use those HD powder to set their concealers or whatever and it just looks horrible but this powder doesn't do that it's um, it also gives you that really nice kind of flawless airbrushed um, look and at the same time it controls and absorbs oil throughout the day like I will use this in my t-zone area and it will give me like a really nice um, sort of like a blurred effect I don't have any problem wearing this um, it does look like it has like some kind of like slight sort of like a reflecting shimmer to it or whatever but uh, I don't know if that's like supposed to be silica microspheres or something or I don't know um, I'm like I said I'm not very good with the ingredient stuff but if there's only three ingredients in this um, powder then I think it's pretty good I mean I don't really see any like parabens or um, fragrance or alcohol whatever you know all that crap so at least I know this is something really natural and something that's very effective 
I love this. I really like this. And I got this, I think, about like a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago or something. I still have like half jar left. I think this is about $10, I believe, 8 or $10 on the website. But like I said, it lasts you for a long time and you don't really need, you know, like pack on a lot because this is sort of like a setting powder and it's kind of like a, almost like a blotting sheet for your, you know, but it's like a powder form for your face. Um, so I really like this. I highly recommend this if you have like a combination to oily skin or you have like, if you have really oily skin, I think you might need uh, some kind of like a primer underneath or maybe you need like a mattifying uh, lotion or something underneath. Um, but if you have like combo to oily skin, like usually just oily T-zone, I think this is a really great powder. And then you can use this if you have normal. Um, but if you don't, if you have a rice allergy, it says it's not good for people who have like rice allergies. But other than that, I think this is really good. It's not drying either. It doesn't like settle into fine lines. It doesn't look cakey. I know I'm spending a lot of time just talking about this product, but I think this is like my number one favorite product, uh, natural, both natural and cruelty free product. And, and from my number one like favorite top natural and cruelty free you know beauty brands so I will probably that's why I'm top you know spending more time talking about this particular product so if you want to you know try out pumpkin poppy's cosmetics products I highly recommend this particular one because it just I think it's my absolute favorite my second favorite products, the natural and cruelty free products from Pumpkin Poppy Cosmetics is probably this um, lip gloss. Uh, and this is the Frankly Scarlet Gloss. And uh, this is what changed my, my complete view on lip glosses. I have been a fan of lipsticks. I've never been a fan of lip glosses. I think they're sticky, they're uncomfortable, um, they're just not like, I don't know, they're not pigmented and they're not as glamorous um, as like classic as lipsticks, like you know, the bullet lipsticks. Um, but you know, after seeing Grace um, from Cosmetic Cotoria talk about this particular gloss, and I, um, you know, I kind of like you know went and bought this particular gloss and after trying it for the first time I literally just like what this is lip gloss like this is crazy and this is like the texture and everything kind of reminds me of the NYX soft matte lip creams um, but it's I don't know but it, this is a, like a lip gloss it's not um, I don't know, I guess this is like a hybrid of lip gloss and lip cream. Um, I think on the website it says this is a lip gloss, but this is so highly pigmented that it can double up as like a liquid lipstick or a lip cream. So this is the particular color. It's, it's just a really cool color. I thought I would never be able to pull off this type of color in a million years because it's that sort of like um, brownish orangey color and with like, I don't know, with some shimmer to it, but it can also be like more of like, um, like a burnt orange kind of color. So it just looks really nice. As you can see, this is super pigmented and uh, it doesn't look as, it does, it's not like a semi matte finish like the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. So this is definitely glossy and then therefore this is more of a lip gloss. But the texture and the texture is just so hydrating. Um, it's soft, it's smooth, it's almost like velvety on the lips. And the intensity of the color payoff, it just, it's, it's crazy good. It's crazy good. Another product I really love from Pumpkin and Poppy Cosmetics is the foiled, again, mixing media. It's kind of like the Fix Plus from MAC or like the Ilamasca sealing gel, you know, something like that, that can like, you can mix it with your uh, loose eyeshadows or mineral eyeshadows and then turning them into kind of like almost like a waterproof, like crease-free um, eyeshadows. 
and it can kind of like really punch up the color make them really true and vibrant and really pretty so yeah so this is the pumpkin poppy cosmetic one it's really huge it's like one fluid ounce the other item that I like from her line is also from my very earliest like purchase is the um, Shellshare cat liner um, so this is Shashia the cat um, from Alice in Wonderland and this is a really I think this is her this is pumpkin poppy cosmetics very first like cream liner um, it's not really a gel liner so you got to keep that in mind this is more of a cream liner so it's just a cream form you can use this as an eyeshadow base or you can use this to line the top of your you know like um, lash line but this is a really, really pretty, sort of like an indigo purplish color, um, with with like really fine purple shimmer to it, like a cream eyeshadow in this sort of like um, mirrored, um, you know, pot form. And this is the Once Bitten um, collection, and this is the shade Louis. Like I said, these are from her from Pumpkin Poppy Cosmetics earlier collections and products. So I'm not sure if uh, they still have these on the website. Um, but this is a really pretty sort of like a cocky green, like olive green or more like a cocky green um, cream shadow. So this is more of a cream eyeshadow, and the other ones the uh, the cat liner is a cream liner. Um, I also like to use this as an eyeshadow base. Uh, again, this is not long wearing or anything, but if you use this um, underneath an eyeshadow and on top of a an eye primer, um, you shouldn't have much problem with creasing or anything. Um, but this is a really, really pretty, sort of like a khaki green, uh, metallic khaki green color. As you can see. And the two eyeshadows from Pumpkin and Poppy Cosmetics um, that are my favorite, like top two out of um, all of these other ones are um, Rifle Property from Into the Labyrinth collection and the Harlot um, I think Harlot is still available on the website I think because it's a pretty, pretty popular um, eyeshadow but these two are my favorite out of all the other ones I purchased uh, mainly because they're sort of like um, a reddish tone and uh, I'm always looking for unique colors and kind of like a reddish tone kind of eyeshadows so that's why I really like these two a uh, rifle pop property is more of like brownish orangey color an orangey brown color with like very fine golden shimmer to it and then Harlot is probably like a rich burgundy color with um, like matte eyeshadow with like a goldenish um, shimmer I don't know it just I thought this color is so beautiful it's it's just really pretty so my second favorite um, natural slash I guess cruelty free makeup brand is probably um, OCC cosmetics like obsessive compulsive cosmetics um, I'm not sure if most of their ingredients are natural but I know they are definitely but I know that they are definitely cruelty free and vegan I think vegan right are they vegan I think they're vegan I think they're I think OCC is vegan oh my god I need to get my um, facts straight um, my most used lip tars uh, from OCC is probably Feathered, which is a standard white um, lip color, and Charcoal, no, not Charcoal, Chard, which is a black. I think those two are my most used, but I think I use the white one a lot more. Um, and mainly because I like, you know, with these, you can mix and mix your own shades. Of course, they have like tons, shade, tons of shades to choose from, and they constantly come up with new finishes and new colors. Um, but the fun things about these lip tars is to actually mix them to make your very own unique lip colors. Um, 
So as a makeup artist, I like to mix my own lip colors a lot more often. So I find myself reaching for feathered very often, and I this is the old one. I think it's almost gone. Um, and I bought a backup. I bought a new one from this year's IMATS. My favorite lip tar from OCC is probably um, Grandma. I can't find that one because I think it's probably in one of my makeup bags or something. But I have. Uh, but they came out recently. Came out with these. Um, cosmetic color pencils so I got this shade uh, grandma uh, in oh my god look at me I just smeared all the lip gloss on my pants this is the exact same color but in the pencil form which you I think you can use on your lips as well on your eyes so these are the new products from OCC um, there's a lot of colors to choose from um, and then they all kind of like match up with their um, regular lip tars so this is the shade Grandma. It's basically a really nice bright uh, coral color. Um, I personally, I don't think I can ever wear coral, mainly because it makes my skin, it, it just like, you know like how some lip colors that can brighten up your whole face? Um, normal, like regular coral lip color can make me look dark and tanned but like very just dim, like you know, like there's like a dim light shine on me instead of like a bright light shine on me. Uh, you don't want that effect unless you have a really nice healthy tan or maybe you're really pale or maybe you're really dark, then you can pull off a really nice coral color. So coral is a pretty hard color for me to wear, but for some reason this color, this particular shade of coral, I think it has a just right amount of that orange and pinkiness to it, it just brightens up my whole face, my complexion. I wore um, the lip tar in Grandma on my graduation day, and it just looks beautiful in photograph as well. Like, I'm so glad I wore that color to my graduation, and I got my graduation picture in my gown and everything, caps and gown. So it just, it's a really great color, and I think that it's a universal shade it's a universal sh uh, shade of coral that will work on every skin tone, everybody. So I highly recommend this particular shade. If you are not sure which lip tart to try, definitely get Grandma because I assure you, I think it will work on everybody. I know everybody likes the Not Safe for Work NSFW um, lip tar, the red lip tar from OCC because I think that's supposed to be the true red but my personal favorite red lip tar lip color from OCC is actually Stalker um, I also use a lot of this, this is a new one um, my old one I think it's like less than half left in my makeup kit um, I use this so often I think the reason why I like Stalker is because it's it's a little bit deeper um, than NSFW. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that because I actually don't have NSFW for some reason Cause, because I like Stalker so much. I've used Stalker on its own, on the palest models to the, dark mo the darkest model and I have to tell you that this color works on everybody. Um, I'm not sure about the NSFW. Um, I think that's the true red that's supposed to work on everybody. But in my personal um, working kind of you know um, environment, I feel like Stalker is actually a more suitable red for every complexion. But another metallic color from the um, Lip Tart collection um, that is my favorite, and I think I did my Lip Tart how to Lip Tart like video with this particular shade and it's the shade called Authentic and it's a really pretty kind of like um, metallic brownish orangey color or more like a burnt orange color it's kind of similar to the um, Pumpkin Poppy Cosmetics except this one's a little bit more warmer um, but this is quite similar to this uh, if anything, this is a little bit more metallic because this is the from the metallic finish line. I really like this color. Again, I think this will work on most people. And then my newfound favorite um, color from OCC Lip Tart is Memento. 
Um, I think this might be from their newer collections. Um, anyway, this is just a really pretty rosy color. And from their um, like stained gloss collection, these, like I said, they are more of a sheer finish. So if you think of this, you'd be like, oh shit, this is, oh crap, this is like super deep, like purplish color. But their stained gloss are more like sheer, mm, like a sheer version of their regular lip tars, but still kind of pigmented, not as pigmented as their regular lip tars. Um, but this particular shade, um, it's called Decadent. It's probably one of my favorite shades from their all their stained gloss collections. Um, I haven't got their newest stained gloss collections. I think for the summertime, I haven't got those, but I have my eyes on some of them, so I can't wait to get them and try them out. So, um, but so far for now, this is my favorite one. Um, it gives you kind of like a grape stained lip color. Um, Almost like if you're eating like a grape flavored popsicle or if you been eating like purple like grape flavored um, lollipops and it'll give you that kind of like berry-ish kind of a like stain. That's what this looks like. It doesn't really look purple. It looks more of a berry kind of color. And I think it will be really flattering on everybody. Again, on the all natural face. So I only have very few products and I kind of gave um, I kind of gave out few products from them as well so I don't have that many of products to show you uh, I do like their you know skincare stuff but I think this is more this video is more about like makeup so I like their the all natural face magic vegan eyeshadow primer I really like this but the reason why I don't use it so often is because if I use this like I, if I use this like two three days in a row then my usual oily eyelids will actually get really dry now that's a problem because um, I always want an eye primer that can kind of control the oil my oily lids because I have pretty oily lids and if I just put regular eyeliners or eyeshadows on my eyes, within an hour, everything's going to crease. That's how oily my eyelids are. So, I'm always looking for a good eye primer that can help the eyeshadows stay true to their colors, stay longer, and um, without creasing. The skin tone color, which I think it will also cancel out the redness and the veins in the eyelids, and it's kind of like a lip gloss, it's a Dofa applicator, so it's really easy to apply. All I have to do is just dot, you know, give two dots and spread it around with my fingers and I'm good to go. Their All Natural Face Vegan Blush. Uh, they come in these really cute little round pots. They're so tiny and they don't take up much space and you can kind of like stack them up. And uh, the fact that it has a mirror is like double you know double useful um, so this is a cream blush they have so many shades and they also have powder like mineral I think powder blushes but I prefer their cream blushes because they go on really smooth and it's quite pigmented um, but they don't break me out they don't irritate my skin they just give a really nice flush of color uh, once you blend them out with your fingers and I got this shade in Barbie. I have another shade that's much of a deeper color that I didn't really use and I gave it away. It's really creamy, um, but it's not like oily or anything. And this one has kind of like a slight um, shimmer to it. So it's almost kind of a icy pink. But it's, it's really like a Barbie pink. It's kind of like icy cool, like icy pink, very Barbie-ish. But... Um, once I blend it out, it gives a really nice, um, like a pink glow on the skin. Um, I actually don't have anything on my face. Uh, I don't have blush, so if I just apply this, so just like blend it out, it just leaves a really nice, like you said, like you see, it's like a really nice flush of color compared to this one, it has like no cheek color. 
um, you can see it just has a really nice healthy flush of that pink peeking through almost from within not like sitting on top of the skin and the fact that it's like a cream blush it blends out really easily so I have two eyeliners from them one is sort of like a liquid eyeliner in this really pretty like um bright blue color cobalt blue bright blue and another one is more of their um eyeliner gel pot um so it's kind of like um eyeliner but it's more like a moussey less than well not really like a gel form I, to me i feel like these are more like a mousse type of like jelly kind of eyeliner in the pot and this is the color mayan gold oh this is such a beautiful gold color it's so pretty um these are not that long wearing but um uh, this color it just is really beautiful and i've used quite a bit so um they all like really filled up everything to the top I've used this quite a bit I really like how this gives that really nice pop of gold um, I like to use this on the lower tear duct to add that accent gold color and sometimes I would just line my top lash line with this gold color it's just I don't know it's super pretty it's that really nice like rich gold color bright blue and it's just a nice very thin nice brush and that's how pigmented this color is and again they all have so many different shades from this company it's like um if you think about like a natural makeup line usually I'm like natural vegan cruelty free I wouldn't think there are so many colors to choose from but this brand actually has so many colors to choose from and I love these um, once they dry they actually stay put pretty well so I really like this and you can see it's sort of like um, almost like a metallic blue color but once it like dries up it looks almost like matte kind of like my matte bright blue but it's such a beautiful color this pop of blue is like perfect for summertime I need to do like a tutorial featuring like featuring these products so you can see how they look um, it's just pretty I don't even know maybe I did tutorials with these products um, like earlier you know when I first got them or something but I need to get back into using these more often in the video in you know, the tutorials because damn how can you not like this blue color it's like perfect so my next um, my number four pick of my top I guess you know um, natural slash cruelty free makeup company makeup brand is probably glamour doll eyes um, again I'm not sure if they're like natural natural like you have a lot of natural ingredients but I know they're indie brand and they're cruelty free and again, I found about this particular company through Cosmetic Couturier. I just really like their eyeshadows. Um, I started out getting a whole bunch of like sample baggies. You can get, um, you can buy sample baggies that come with those tiny Ziploc bags. But I still have all of them because you don't really need that much to um, create an eye look because they're super pigmented so pretty a little bit goes a long way just almost like the OCC lip tars but these are such great mineral eyeshadows I think they are mineral eyeshadows so they're considered natural right um I love the colors the finishes a lot of the shimmers matte they're so pigmented and um I think Glamour Doll Eyes started making blushes and they also have their own lip glosses um I have their little lip glosses in the the summer collection I got um, I'm not that much of a fan of their lip glosses because they're not that pigmented and they have a this one has like a cookie smell um, and they're kind of sticky like regular lip glosses but I do like the blushes and I got this I got their I first experienced uh, I first tried their blushes uh, through their Valentine's collection of, from this year um, but she has but I think Glamour Doll Eyes has so many other shades of blushes that are on their website. Um, some are matte and some are semi-matte uh, semi with a little bit of shimmer to it. Um, and then 
they're just like they come in a much bigger jar so they're a little bit more expensive but like I said a little bit goes a long way and they're super pigmented just like their eyeshadows so if you're into blushes definitely check them out they're loose colors though so and then there's always an option to get sifters or no sifters I usually uh, this the blush has sifters in it but I usually get their regular eyeshadows in the, the full size jar the full size eyeshadow in full size jar without sifters mainly because um, I don't know I'm a little bit more careful and this color I like it so much I think this is from their um, gift with purchase color is called lustrous yeah this is the February 2014 gift with purchase um, color so I actually think I got two um, this is such a pretty color it's just that sort of magenta color magenta matte pink with um, golden shimmer to it oh, it looks so pretty and the cool things about these is that they look so great dry and they look so great if you um, if you apply them wet color it says it's lip safe and vegan the cool things about mineral eyeshadow loose eyeshadow is that you can also mix them into your clear nail polishes and create your own nail polishes or you can mix them with your clear lip gloss to make your own lip glosses if the label says it's lip safe then you can use them on your lips um, so they're not only just for your lips you can use them on your eyes on your nails all over your face your body um, and then there are like lists of ingredients on the back of the label for each every single pot so you know which one is vegan which one's not which one's lip safe which one is not um i don't know it's just i think it's really great and they use like very quite minimum amount of ingredients so the ones i'm showing you these are the full size products in full size jars and they also have um sample size products sample amount of products in full size jars which you would probably get like I think one grams of products something like that um, but you can also have the option to get the uh, sample baggies sample baggies were the first very first stuff that I got from Glamour Doll Eyes you only need a little bit to you know to create a look so that's why these were the earliest pro uh, you know stuff I purchased on their website and I still have them and I still don't have to get a full size jars but I really do like their bright colors like they have really subtle shimmer to them so they give you more of a sheen than like glitter bomb but the bright ones are so bright they're true to color like I said you can get like more of a sheer finish if you blend them out or you can get an intense color just like how it looks in the baggie or in the jar if you use their uh, foil media you know those mixing media or ceiling gel and you can get intense colors like this or create your own like colored liners um, again possibilities are endless with these colors from glamour doll, glamour doll eyes I'm I have so much fun playing with these to create like different colors um, I always reach for their products for like mermaid parade um, like Coney Island mermaid parade just for the hell of it because they have so many great colors and um, like this color is electric lemonade it's such a pretty color and then another color I really really like from their brighter like eyeshadow collections is probably blueberry blush oh this one I mean I don't even wear blue that often but this color is so like it's like my go-to color in the summer if I want a punchy bright makeup look and my favorite collection from Glamour Doll Eyes, uh, you know, the, I guess the collection is probably, I don't remember the name of this collection, but I got a, the full size full collection. Um, they're both, they're basically like this sort of like a matte brown finish. All of them are the same kind of like similar matte brown finishes, but with a different like sheen to it, like a different reflex to it. You know how like... MAC had those like reflex pigments that you can um, that they look white you know they're just white powder but once you apply them they have like a different color sheen to it so these are t kind of like that except that they have a matte brown base
So I really like that because you can use these for everyday like work color because they are neutral. But what makes them unique is that each one of them has a different like color shift to it. So like one has like a sort of like a purple shift to it, the other one has like a blue, the other one has a teal, another one has like a pinkish shift. So they just make the everyday brown earthy color like a makeup eye makeup look just that one step further, like one step more unique than the rest. For my fifth spot, it's kind of hard to choose because um, I wanted to say another like sort of like an indie brand of loose eyeshadows, mineral eyeshadows, which is Concrete Minerals. I I think they're like the second um, loose mineral eyeshadows I fell in love after trying out the Glamour Doll Eyes makeup eyeshadows. Um, so I kind of like venture out and start trying different indie brands. Um, I, I think I still need to explore a lot more because there are still a lot of those indie brands makeup lines out there um, that have their own website or they sell on Etsy. But um, Concrete Minerals, this is the fir very first thing I purchased from them, which is the Zombie Girl collection. I think it's so popular. It's one of their most popular um, collection, eyeshadow collection on their website that they keep bringing back or maybe they made it permanent now. But it just comes in this really nice like a tin jar. Um, I love it. I think the graphics is cool, the packaging is cool. I like this kind of like a tin keepsake jar, like tin that you can just store the eyeshadows or you can store other your other little goodies in there. Of course I put a lot more eyeshadows in there now because I purchased a lot more of their um, loose eyeshadows, like mineral loose eyeshadows. So I just I end up storing um, I end up storing like a lot more in this let me see. So I end up like stuffing 12 loose eyeshadows in these. These jars are a lot bigger than the Glamour Doll Eyes ones. As you can see, they're a lot bigger. And these are all like full size products. Um, but the price is about the same. And then inside is like 1.5 grams of products, which is about the same as the Glamour Doll Eyes um, products. I think Glamour Doll Eyes is also about like 1.5 gram or 2 grams of products for full size. But it just the size of their jars is, is different. This is a little bit bigger. This is more like a medium sized jar. The Glamour Doll Eyes jars are a little like on the small size. But I think inside, the product inside, I think for full size, they're about the same. And I think the price are kind of similar too. Um, I don't think you can purchase um, sample size products from Concrete Mineral. That's the another. That's the only downside of it. I actually um, pressed all of my um, Concrete Minerals loose eyeshadows. And if you want to see my fully pressed like um, Concrete Mineral like eyeshadow collection, you can. Follow me on my Instagram. I actually have a picture of that, um, which I pressed like all of them in the eyeshadow palette um, because I don't know. I just think if they're really pretty and they're really unique. Um, I think they have their own matte collection, which are like the color one, the neutral ones, and they're pretty good. I haven't tried those out yet. So the ones I have so far are mostly from their um, limited collections or their um, sales they have sales like each week oh this is blood and guts I'm not sure I think this is probably from the zombie girl collection it's a really pretty kind of like um purpley color with like bluish shift to it swamped is a really nice sort of like a um, dark greenish kind of shimmery metallic dark green color um, they're all really pretty and quite pigmented. Again, you can use them wet or dry. This video is going to be super long. Oh my god, I can't even make like part two or something like that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. Please comment. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, check out all the other YouTube, um, all my other, all the other tags. Um, the people got tagged down below. I'll link all the information down below so you can check out all the the other makeup gurus and beauty gurus um, channels and videos. So yeah, 
Um, if you have any other recommendations of great natural beauty products and be you know vegan or cruelty free beauty products, comment down below as well. I'm always interested in trying out more uh, products and interesting new different products and support some indie companies. So yeah, um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.